gentlemen, it's Insane Gamers back again, and I have a Pokemon Battle Revolution battle for you against, um, Panda. Yeah. Anyway, their team is pretty good, I guess. They've got... It's basically full of OUs, but... Anyway, here's my team. Uh, if you haven't seen my introduction to my team video yet, maybe you should watch that first, but... Anyway, uh, I go for Sceptile and Firo at first, because, you know, take down anything that comes in. And I thought Pikachu would be good for Gyarados, and Garchomp would be good to take out the other Garchomp. Because mine has a choice band. Anyway. So we're going to the Noob Coliseum today, because I hate this Coliseum. Why do people pick it? I like the Magma Coliseum. Anyway, he sends out Gyarados and Alakazam, and I have my Sceptile and my Fero. He gets an Intimidate off on me, which I guess really does do something, but... You know, it doesn't really affect it much. Anyway, now, I was at first thinking about X scissoring that Alakazam, but then I thought, well, my Sceptile has a choice band, and I don't want to get stuck on X scissor. So I just go for the Leaf Blade. Uh, I figured it would kill anyway, even out, even with the Intimidate. And Pharaoh, I don't exactly know what to do, so I just go for my Sky Attack. Power Orb, uh, Power Orb, Power Herb, Sky Attack should do quite a bit of damage. Anyway, because my Sceptile is super, super fast, I trained it that way. It outspeeds Zalakazam. Critical hits it. I don't think I needed that, but yeah, I'll take what I can get anyway. So, Alakazam goes down in one hit. That was really epic. And here comes my favorite move ever. Sky Attack! Yeah! Anyway, the announcer, what the announcer says is so awesome. Anyway, even with the Intimidate, does half, does over half, I'm very surprised. Gyarados Ice Fangs, I don't know, it's, it's an okay move to carry on Gyarados, I guess, but it doesn't even, didn't even kill my Garchomp in one hit when I fought this guy before, so. Luckily, Fearer doesn't die, not that it really matters. So, who's gonna come in next? We're waiting, oh, here we go, here comes a Pokeball. It's his Garchomp! And Sceptile is stuck on Leaf Blade, so I have to use Leaf Blade, and I don't really want to switch out because I'm not threatened. Hero, I don't exactly know what to do. I mean, I can't Sky Attack it because it's. I just used my Power Herb, so I'll just return it. Hopefully, get a good, decent amount of damage on it, finish it off next turn. Gyarados is not really threatening to me. So, Leaf Blade, and I am highly surprised. Even without the Intimidate, it probably wouldn't have done much, but look at that. It does basically nothing. That must be some kind of defense that thing has. But I get a, I get a pretty gay critical hit. I mean, that was kind of unfair. I, in a way, I wish I hadn't gotten that, but whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so, Gyarados comes in for the kill on the Fero. I don't care at this point, because Fero is basically useless to me at this point. Ah, oh, Firo. Oh well. So, I know I can kill that Gyarados in one hit with my Raichu, but I don't know what his last Pokemon is. So, out comes my Raichu, and out comes his Electivire. And I used to like Electivire, but so many people use it now. Raichu is definitely where it's at. Don't use Electivire. Anyway, Leaf Blade, that... Electivire, see how much it'll do, and obviously, Thunderbolt the Gyarados, get it out of the way. <laughs> Enough said, Gyarados dies. Bet you weren't expecting that. Anyway. Yeah, point at him, that's right. Leaf Blade hits, and it, oh, it does well over half, doesn't really do enough to KO. And Gyarados gets his get zapped by a Thunderbolt. Yeah, that was just stupid, because Gyarados would never survive that. And Electrify uses Earthquake! And I'm not worried, because I put a Sash on my Raichu. It is really useful. One reason why I like Raichu more than Electrify is because I can Sash it effectively. Basically, this battle's over. I mean, he didn't play badly. It's just that he really was at a disadvantage to the types. I mean, he he was a, he was a pretty good trainer. He had a lot of OUs, obviously, so I think he was a bit of a noob. But anyway, enough said. Leaf Blade finishes him off, and we win the day. 
I am just... Did Seth Tyler even get hit that battle? I don't even... I don't think Seth Tyler even took any damage. Which is pretty funny. Anyway. Yay! Super happy. Pointer thing. By the way, if you're wondering why all my guys are in Master Balls, it's because I caught them. I did not hack them. I don't ha They don't have, like, max everything. If they had more than 510 EVs, they wouldn't be allowed to be in the game. So... They're only in Master Balls because I caught them and it didn't feel like using Pokeballs.